Oxford Read and Discover, Level Four, Machines Then and Now, by Robert Quinn, read by Dan Bittner, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2010. Introduction. Machines make our lives easier. We use them to do work, to travel, to communicate, and to have fun. Some machines are simple, with only one or two parts. Other machines are complex, with many parts that work together. What are the machines below called? What do we do with these machines? Which of these machines do you use? What other machines do you use? Discover. Now read and discover more about machines. Chapter one: The first machines. People invented the first machines a long time ago. They were simple tools made of stone, wood, or bone. About two million years ago, people made stone axes with wooden handles. They used these tools to cut wood. People also used stone and animal bone to make knives and arrows. To shoot their arrows, they used bows made with long pieces of wood. People used simple levers to move heavy objects like rocks. They put one end of a long stick of wood under a big rock, and they put a small rock under the stick. When they pushed on the other end of the stick, the big rock moved. About seven thousand years ago, people started farming for food. They invented new machines like plows and used animals to make work easier. Some farmers used long levers to get water from rivers. They also built canals to get water for their plants. About five thousand years ago, people started making metal tools. These tools were better than stone or bone tools. Chapter two, round and round. The wheel is one of the most important inventions in history. About five thousand five hundred years ago, potters used the first wheels to make clay pots. They put wet clay on a wooden wheel. Then they turn the wheel to make a nice round pot. Before people had wheels to move heavy objects, they used rollers. The rollers were made from tree trunks. Then people made carts and chariots with wooden wheels. They connected the wheels with a long bar called an axle. Today there are lots of machines with wheels. We can see wheels on cars, bicycles, and skateboards. There are also wheelchairs for people who can't walk easily. Can you think of more machines that have wheels? Discover. The London Eye is a very big wheel. It's 135 meters high. You get a great view of London from the top. Chapter three: Ramps and cranes. Ramps are useful because they help us lift objects more easily. More than five thousand years ago, the ancient Egyptians used ramps to build pyramids. The Great Pyramid at Giza is the biggest pyramid in the world. It's one hundred and thirty-eight meters high. The Egyptians used rollers to move large blocks of stone up the ramps. They needed lots of workers because the blocks were very heavy.
About 2,500 years ago, the ancient Greeks used big cranes to build temples. The cranes were made of wood, and they had many ropes and little wheels called pulleys. First, the workers tied a rope to a block of stone. Then, they put the rope around the pulley. They pulled the rope and lifted the block. The work was easier with cranes, so the Greeks didn't need as many workers as the Egyptians. Discover! We use cranes today to lift very heavy objects. The biggest type of crane is the gantry crane. Chapter 4 Water and Wind some machines use energy from nature. Water mills use energy from flowing water. Thousands of years ago, people built water mills next to rivers. They used the water mills to make flour from grain. Then they used the flour to make bread and cakes. Water mills have a big wheel on the outside. The river turns the wheel. Then the wheel turns an axle inside the water mill. The axle turns a round millstone that breaks the grain into flour. Windmills use energy from the wind. Hundreds of years ago, people started using windmills to make flour. Windmills have long arms with big sails. The wind pushes the sails and turns the arms. Inside the mill, an axle turns a millstone. Windmills are useful in places that don't have big rivers, but they only work when it's windy. Discover! Today, we use windmills to make electricity. Modern windmills are called wind turbines. Chapter 5 Telling the Time In the past, people told the time in many ways. Thousands of years ago, people used sundials. Sundials had a pointer that made a shadow to tell the time. A sundial only worked on sunny days. Some people also used water clocks. Simple water clocks had two pots. Water flowed from the top pot to the bottom pot to tell the time. Later, people used sand clocks. These clocks had two glass bubbles with sand inside them. About 1,000 years ago, people invented mechanical clocks with metal gears. Some mechanical clocks have a pendulum to move the parts. Others have metal springs. Today, many clocks are digital. They show the time with only numbers. Digital clocks work with electricity. They usually have electrical cords or batteries. Computers and cell phones have digital clocks, and many people wear digital watches. Chapter 6 Engines and Energy for thousands of years, people used animals to do work. Then inventors built steam engines. These engines heated water to make steam. The energy from the steam made other machines work. The first steam engines usually used fuels like wood, coal, or oil. People used steam engines to power vehicles like trains and boats. Many factories used steam engines to power their machines.
This was the beginning of modern industry. Then, people invented new engines that used fuels like oil, gasoline, and diesel. Now we use these engines for vehicles like cars, buses, planes, or helicopters. They can carry enough fuel to travel long distances. Today, most vehicles use gasoline or diesel as fuel. Some vehicles use biodiesel made from plant materials. There are also electric cars that use energy from batteries. Some vehicles, like bicycles, use human energy. Discover! Electric cars are good for the environment. They don't produce smoke or pollution. Chapter 7 Flying Machines Today, we can fly all over the world, but 200 years ago, planes didn't exist. Some people flew in hot air balloons. These balloons had no engines, so they were slow and hard to control. Later, people invented airships. They had engines and propellers, so they were faster and easier to control. In 1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright invented the first plane. It was made of wood and carried one person. The first flight only lasted for 12 seconds. Four years later, a French inventor named Paul Camus flew one of the first helicopters. He stayed in the air for about 20 seconds. Today, there are many types of plane. Some planes have propellers, and others have jet engines. Some planes carry freight, and others carry passengers. Some modern planes carry more than 850 passengers. Helicopters are very useful. They can transport food and medicine in emergencies. They can also rescue people and take them to the hospital. Discover! The Gen H-4 is the smallest helicopter in the world. It carries one person. Chapter 8 Communications For a long time, people sent messages on paper. Then people invented new machines to communicate more quickly and easily. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. It transmitted sounds through wires. In 1895, Guglielmo Marconi invented the radio. It transmitted sounds with no wires. In 1926, John Logie Baird invented a way to transmit images and show them on a screen. It was the first television, but it only showed black and white images. Then, 18 years later, inventors made a television that showed images in color. Communications today are very different. We talk on cell phones that transmit sounds with no wires. We can send text messages, photos, and videos. Many cell phones are also music players, and they can connect to the Internet. With modern televisions, we can receive programs by satellite. We can also watch DVDs. Some televisions are very big. There is a television in Japan that is 11 meters tall and 66 meters long.
Discover. Some modern televisions can be almost as thin as paper. Chapter Nine. Computers. People invented the first computers more than sixty years ago. Those computers were very different from computers today. One of the first computers was called ENIAC. It was built in about 1946. ENIAC was big and heavy. It weighed about 30 metric tons. It was also expensive. It cost about five hundred thousand dollars. Over the next forty years, computers became smaller and cheaper. From about 1980, people started using computers at home. Then, in 1989. Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web, or the web. Computers today are very useful. You see images on a monitor, and you use a keyboard to type words. You use a mouse to move the cursor and click on buttons. To connect to the internet, you use a modem. Modern computers also have speakers, so you can listen to music or watch movies. You need a printer to print documents, and to play computer games, you need a joystick. What other things can computers do? Chapter Ten: Big and Small. With modern technology, we can build machines that are very big or very small. The cruise ship Oasis of the Seas is one of the world's largest passenger vehicles. It's 65 meters high and 360 meters long. It carries 5,400 passengers. It has restaurants, shops. Cinemas and three swimming pools. The Bagger 288 is a mining machine. It's 96 meters high and 240 meters long. It's one of the world's heaviest land vehicles. It weighs 13,500 metric tons. The Denso microcar is one of the world's smallest machines. It's about 4.8 millimeters long and 1.7 millimeters high. It's smaller than a finger. The car can move, but its top speed is only 180 meters per hour. In the future. People will use micro machines like this to repair other machines from the inside. Discover. Scientists want to build micro machines called nanobots. We will need a microscope to see them. Doctors will use them to help people who are sick. The nanobots will work inside their bodies.